We were making some muddy puddles out there for sure. South Glastonbury at the top of the charts along with Middlefield with over two and a half inches of rain. Drought what drought? Durham over two inches. Manchester over two inches and one and a half inches for both Summers and for Brantford. All of this in a stripe down through central Connecticut more or less. And take a look at the result of that. This is from Michael Beck showing the result of that in our local waterfalls across the state in Cobalt, Connecticut. It really beautiful shot and that was the thing a lot of people were saying why are we even still talking about the drought even long after we got you know rain day after rain day for that US drought monitor report they're really looking at water levels too so even long after the grass started kind of growing back in we were still in a severe drought until those water levels came up significantly and they finally have temperatures are in the 50s to right around 60 degrees out there tonight and the numbers holding steady. We are not going to cool off all that much and there are still areas of rain ongoing. It is wet for a lot of Hartford County and Litchfield County too. This is the heaviest rain in the state right now in Bethlehem heading north towards Morris and Litchfield. It's also raining heavily in Windsor and that'll be heading towards East Windsor and Windsor locks here shortly. Low temperatures tonight in the 50s areas of patchy dense fog and that could stick around into the morning drive. So just keep that in mind as you're driving off to work in the morning. Some showers scattered about there and even if you're not in one of those showers, it could be foggy. So maybe it's fine on one street, but you make a left and all of a sudden you're in pea soup. So check in with the morning show crew. They'll get you started on where there might be some trouble spots tomorrow. High temperatures in the upper 60s to right around 70 as we head through the afternoon. So here's a look at those showers overnight kind of showing you central and western Connecticut is going to be the focus of this next round coming through. This is tomorrow morning, a lot of clouds, a couple scattered showers, some fog and mist, but overall it's a drier day. Mostly cloudy skies in the afternoon, maybe some brighter patches in there that will allow those temperatures to climb. And then the showers fill back in again, heading into your Wednesday. So you're kind of off and on with the umbrella again for another couple of days or so. This is Wednesday morning, heading into the afternoon. There could be a few showers. These are kind of tougher to time out for Wednesday, I would say, compared to uh, what we're anticipating for tomorrow, which will be more likely to see some in the morning. Heading into your Thursday and Friday, the sun comes back out again. High temperatures in the mid to upper 60s on Thursday, upper 50s to around 60 for both Friday and Saturday. The weekend looks great right now. There is a storm nearby as we head into the late weekend and into Halloween. For now, I have it missing, and it looks really good for trick-or-treat time, so I am hoping hoping that that forecast holds. You never want to have to cover up the costume, be it for cold or rain or anything else. Shoreline seven days showing upper 60s the next several days before a cool down by the end of the work week, guys.